of the week got a whole lot to unpack with this Risa Tisa versus Charlemagne topic but before we get into it I gotta say disclaimer I am a neutral blog page and with that being said the things stated within my videos are usually the opinions of the internet and not necessarily my own in other words do not chew me up for just giving y'all the news anyway let's go ahead and talk about Risa Tisa the young lady that has gained over 3 million followers for telling a 50 part story about how she dated and married a pathological liar now this story has went so viral y'all that it has literally hit every blog page every talk show every radio host and of course that includes the breakfast club where just hilarious broke down Risa Tisa's uh basically whole 50 part um thing on tiktok and well it was so outlandish to charlemagne that he had to inquire about the young lady's weight inquiring or as saying the fact that he felt like that was big back behavior now immediately people got pissed off with him because their conversation soon uh, quickly switched to well why is it that only big women can fall for the lies of a man there are women of all shapes and sizes that fall for lies and well that is when charlemagne had to come back around and kind of clear up what he said as he uh, uh, basically comes to, his, comes to the defense and say, hey, look, I didn't know what she looked like. I'm just telling y'all what it sounded like to me. Now, there are people out there that are trying to shoot Charlemagne some bail because um, obviously we all know that going after somebody's weight is wrong. Body shaming is wrong. But what the conversation I believe he was trying to have was people uh, who tend to fall for lies of another when they are desperate for love and or attention. And I think that was a conversation that he was really trying to have. And that is the conversation that people are starting to have in the comment sections of blog sites and blog posts it's like okay we understand old dude was a piece of crap but at what point are we going to make her account accountable for believing that the sky was red when she knows damn well that the sky is blue regardless Risa Tisa again is still using all of the popularity that she's gaining from this show I mean gaining from her TikTok I believe somebody said that uh even uh Tyler Perry had followed her on Instagram and then now she has a appearance on a talk show coming up regardless if you haven't seen seen any of Charlemagne's comments towards her or the snippet of her being on the talk show coming up well here it is make sure you leave a like and a follow and enjoy the clips be honest with you man I hear a lot of big back behavior does she have a big back she do she do give Sheila that was driving up the mountain okay okay yeah, she, she Sheila did. was beautiful though yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. You talked about the big back, yeah, not the, big the face. Back. Yeah, you're right, you're she's right. cool. What's your thing with big backs? No, I'm usually? just saying, because in a situation like this, some of you big backs, y'all got to stop being so thirsty for a man. There's a man out there for you, okay? This woman believed all of this because she wanted to believe all of this. Big back belief mm -hmm. isn't like everybody else's belief, mm -hmm. okay? She said it herself. He mm -hmm. said everything I wanted to hear. Yeah. She wanted to believe whatever was coming out of his mouth because she wanted a man so bad. Okay, so... T.S. Madison, a self-proclaimed big backer, um, she publicly <laughs> checked in on the rest of the big back brigade to see how she should respond. And she said, hashtag big back people, including me. <laughs> Y'all letting Charlemagne get away with that? Or are we caving his face in? Let me know. What negative comments have, have hurt the most, I guess? The one, so the ones where they say, you know, she did this for clout. This is not the way to get clout, because because you you are literally opening up yourself, and again, you're being vulnerable. Those hurt. The ones that talk about the fact, and I know people have seen this, um, she does not look like what a VP would would date. And it was a, it was a woman, it was a TikTok creator who was talking about my looks, and then there was a person a very famous personality that called me a big back talking about my weight and so it's things like that that i'm like jesus you know i'm i can already admit i'm self-conscious you know as a as a heavier woman i feel like how i look should not dictate whether or not i deserve what i want to so that was um that was that was disappointing and it was and it was hurtful especially the the one that was the more famous um personality because again i'm i'm more than just my weight like and not to mention me you know that it's it's hard i do i will admit this i appreciate when i've met both men and women who have said thank you because for me it's like okay i know i'm getting attacked 
but it did help somebody. When I hear someone that said, girl, I watched all 50 parts, I genuinely am humbled that someone took 500 minutes out of their life <laughs> and watched my, you know, the story that I went through. And my prayer is that, again, if there is a woman or a man who's like, I want to be married, I want kids, yeah. I want this, and I need to have it right now, and you know something's wrong, yeah. but you're afraid to investigate because you're afraid that you might be wrong. Yeah. And it's like, I'm, I'm here to say, look, it costs nothing to verify, yeah. but if you don't verify, honey, it may cost you everything. Yeah.